Welcome to another episode of Holistic Hearts, and it's all about the journey from the head into the heart, and how we do that is through what I like to call encounters. If you are not familiar with encounters, I really encourage you to go back and listen to episode 94, where we talk about what are encounters more in depth, and then as well, go back and listen to The Secret Garden as that is one of my most favorite revelations. I feel like the Holy Spirit led me to understand what encounters are. So be sure to go back and listen. Today's encounter, I really want us to explore inviting Jesus into those deepest places that we feel may be too far gone or the ugliest places in our ourselves that we even hide from ourselves. And this is all based on Psalm 139. In verse 8, King David, he is writing this beautiful poetic song to the Lord. And he says, if I go up to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the realm of the dead, you're there too. If I fly with wings into the shining dawn, you're there. If I fly into the radiant sunset, you're there waiting. Wherever I go, your hand will guide me. And and that's just a little glimpse of, of Jesus wanting to be a part of every single part of our heart. And so I just wanted to make sure that I laid that foundation, that scriptural truth, before we jump into today's encounter. And this was inspired, excuse me, This was inspired by a beautiful poem that I received as a gift. Uh, It's just a little quote from the poet Rune Lazuli, and she wrote these three little lines that are actually um, a beautiful, I believe it's a haiku. So I want you to hear these words. And then the invitation is open for you to ask Jesus into this moment. So here's the poem. Crawl inside this body. Find me where I am most ruined and love me there. Jesus, crawl inside my body and find me where I am most ruined and love me there. Allow those words to just penetrate into your heart and close your eyes and really picture places that we are hiding or we think we are hiding from Jesus and invite him in to those spaces that feel like they've lost the most hope where grief is overridden maybe calloused places in our heart and allow his unending love to meet you there. What does it feel like to let his love seep into that place. What does he say about this place? Picture Jesus' face what he's doing with these deepest wounds.
allow your bridegroom to see you and to know you here. Allow his hand to touch you in the deepest places of hurt. What happens to you as you experience his spirit crawling deep inside you? and loving you there. Thank you, Jesus, for how you have made us. Thank you that there is no place that we can hide from your love. And we say yes to ooze your love in every single place of our heart, whether hidden, unseen, unknown. We want your love. Fill us up. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for listening again today. I pray that this blessed you as it has touched me over and over again reading this quote by Rune Lazuli. If you want more spirit-empowered coaching, I invite you to come join us in the Holistic Hearts community. It's been such a joy to walk alongside other women and continue to grow deeper and to connect to that head and to the heart. So come join us. The link's below.